March 4th, 2018 was the day I created my first ever PvP Locked Hard Crime and as a part of a viewer challenge video. No one took this account seriously, not even myself. But somehow, this account managed to survive almost two years and become my most popular YouTube series ever. And once I died, more players started making their PvP Locked Hard Crime and, and there were plenty of them. So many that I could make 4 episodes of me hunting PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. But as of today, almost 1 year since I died on my hardcore Iron Man, I have decided to create my second attempt of a PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. And since I have the experience of both being the hunted and the hunter, we need to make this more difficult for myself. So at all times, starting from day 1, my private will be on. This means if anyone ever wants to start hunting me, you will know if I'm online or offline. Here we are, PvP locked hardcore Iron Man attempt number two. In game name, how much for off? Bounty will be increased 50 mil per episode. And we're gonna start off right here by Fortunato and buy some jug of wine. Easy. Oh my god. Two mistakes straight away from me. First one being I didn't set up my two-factor authentication system for the account. And secondly, I told the hard crime and Discord I was starting the account today. Shit! After plenty of world hopping, we managed to duke Moxie and get ourselves the 10k. Alright, we got ourselves a Chronicle. Beautiful. When you begin a new PvP locked hard crime, it is very important that you complete a few quests. X marks the spot being my first quest to complete. Boom, X marks the spot have been completed. Why I did this quest is for this antique lamp to be put on hit points and we're gonna gain one hit points level. We're gonna do the client of Corrand as our second quest. There we go, client of Corrand have been completed. We got two antique lamps here which we're gonna put on hit points, that's 13 HP. 15 HP, I don't think I can get one hit now from level 19. Another completion of the Varrock Museum thing. While we're here, we're gonna buy ourselves a house, we might as well, blah 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 blah. For 1k, I think that's worth it. Something that's very important on a fresh new hard crime man, is to always have two different teleports unlocked at all time. That way, it's not so simple for hunters to predict your next teleport. There he is. He knew. Oh, he found. But he can't kill me, though. He can't kill me, Moxie. And that is uh, Daddy's home completed. We got 8 construction. But most importantly, we got more teleports. Now we have 3 options to panic tap in case we get uh, attacked. Welcome to a new area. Um. Soul Wars Island. You can train a lot of skills here. Smining, smithing, hunter. Oh my god, fishing. You can even fish over here. There's so much to do in this island. And uh, as an ex hunter, I know that. Oh my god, don't go in here. As an ex hunter, this is a very awful place to go and look for hard crime and sin. <laughs> I can't believe it! Jagex has done it again! Iron Man can't pick up the bird snare! Here we go, bird snare, <clears throat> bird snare. Alright, I think I'm happy with the progress so far. 25 Hunter, that is uh, more than enough. Alright, let the agility training begin! Classic, we missed the level 30 agility. Let's now start the agility pyramid, let's make some money! This is potentially my best money making method for a while to be honest. Oh, what a journey, but we are here. First 10k on the account. I think we got a bank because we're out of food already. Uh, but that's more than enough to do the quest I want to do right now. Alright, it is time to start Witch's House. Uh, let's see how many HP levels. Yes, yeah, 6k hit points XP. We're now HP 26. Combat 11. Wow, that's a high combat level. And here we are, 15 thieving. We can now thieve ham followers. There are a few items I'm gonna need for diaries and quests, but the biggest reason I'm here is for easy clue scrolls. Thank you. 
Oh no, he found me. Oh no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Don't you do it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, that's a 21. Oh my god. Luckily for me, I'm pretty sure he can't one hit me using a dragon fire shield. And the thing is, I know who this is. He's in the hot crime and hunting discord. I just realized I do have a beginner's clue scroll in my bank. And we're gonna get ourselves some... Ah, oh, that's a... Uh, Here it comes. <gasps> oh my god! Oh. oh my goodness, I guess we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> 1 HP! I got 1 HP. I mean, he can't hit a 26. Like, he can't, right? That dragon fire shield got me scared, so I completed Doric's quest. For 15, no, I'm joking, 11 mining. Pirate's treasure have been completed. It is time to start doing the RD diary. We get another teleport method here if we manage to complete it. And that's the biohazard completed. There we go. Antique lamp. Can we put this on it? No, we can't. Oh well. We got the cloak. RD cloak with this. We have another teleport unlocked. The monastery. Is there gonna be anyone here? Oh, there is. We got a beginner's clue scroll. Oh, we got a casket. Oh, wait, wait. Alright, we're drinking this tea and we're gonna open the casket in 3, 2, 1. Oh, 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 oh yes! <laughs> Hell yeah, we got some fashion scape. Uh oh, monk's robe tea. Alright, that's prayer bonus. Oh no, not again. And there we go, the knight's sword have been completed, the 29th smithing. Here it comes. Yeah, we're logging out for a bit. This account you just witnessed on screen is the one and only account that can one hit me. A 10 HP Obi Mahler. However, he can't attack me from a distance, so it's very easy to escape him. And that's the Goblin Diplomacy completed. And that's the Fishing Contest completed. And that's the Murder Mystery completed. It's the Lost Tribe completed. A very important quest for our first Ring of Life. This is a very important level because we are now 22 crafting. We can make ourselves sapphire necklace which will be our next teleporting method. And that's gonna be the sapphire necklace. And that's gonna be a games necklace. We can now teleport to four new locations. I was in some desperate need for some GP and it took me like 40 minutes to get up here. My first 10k- oh my I fell. And that's the cook's assistant completed as well. And that's the Missile Mystery completed as well. Romeo and Juliet have been completed. And this is great because now we can actually start Dragon Slayer. It's a quest we're not going to complete, but it's a quest we are going to start for an escape. If a PK follows me to the Chronicle, I can just run in here. And most of the PKs, they don't have this uh, unlocked. And this will be the hunter level we stop at. 38 hunter. We can now bare hand catch gourmet implings, which have a chance of getting our grubby keys. It was a long, heavy grind, but there we go. Level 2 rune crafting. Took me ages. Something you want to do on an early stage PvP locked hard crime is to complete as much quests, favor, skills, and diaries as possible. This will help you a lot once you start gaining combat levels. Okay, the original how much for off name is now available. Uh, we're gonna take this because this is the exact words I said when I died on challenges. First and last name change on the account. And there we go, new in-game name. To finish off my grinds, I'm gonna need some money. And there's only one place we can go to. We made it, we got 10k. Oh my, this took 24 minutes. I got lucky, two pyramids in one trip. And that's the quest completed. Sea slug. We now have 29 fishing. And we got ourselves an easy casket. Can we get lucky with some clue teleports? Never lucky. But that's an upgraded axe. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. This took a while, but here we go. Fourth the mining. There we go. Big milestone. We can now complete the Karamja Easy Diary, very important for this build. Alright, the last thing we need to do is to kill a Joker in Karamja. And I'm not sure if this is gonna work, level 4 range with 
a short bow and an oak short bow. We started with 1200 iron arrows, so we're now at 1100. Dealt 3 HP or something like that. 4 HP? Big? We're halfway down. Oh, is that the kill? That is the kill. Achievement diary completed. Get the Joker bones. And from Jackie the Fruit, we can get ourselves the Karamja gloves. And most importantly, we can get hit points experience for 27 HP. The next thing I really want to complete is the achievement diary for easy in Corrent and Kebos land. With this blessing, we get three teleports every single day. So everything I do now moving forward is requirements to complete the diary. Prince Ali rescue have been completed for, for the simple reason that I want to do sorcerer's garden. Easy peasy, and then we are supposed to grab herbs here. Oh, you can only take once. 14 farming, beautiful. And there we go, 12 herb lord, that's all we needed. Let's get out of here. Tower of life completed. We're gonna need 25 construction for the diary. I think I found a new favorite activity here, just mining stars. All right, it's almost done. Oh. We got nothing. While doing the achievement diary, I decided to complete the Queens of Thieves. We get a page for the carrots the memoirs. I think we can... No way. Is this unlimited teleports? No way. Holy shit, this teleport is inc... No, wait. I had... Oh, I just wasted three teleports. It's not unlimited. I thought it was unlimited. We completed another quest, Shield of Arrow. Uh, there we go. Dig site have been completed. Very good quest to complete. I'm gonna show you why this is a great quest to complete. Uh, basically for anyone who is a skilled or hard crime man to begin with. Yeah, if we talk to the historian, I think we should be able to get some XP lamps. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna put this on hit points, gaining us one combat level and one HP level. There are now two different builds that can one hit us. So if you put all your loot in this storage crate here, you have a 1 in 97 chance of getting a unique antique lamp, which will gain you 500 experience in a skill of your choice. Uh, and this is a great way to get HP levels. And if you want to, as a PvP locked hard crime man, you can do this until 40 or 50 HP and you will never die. Another interesting thing, if you complete Merlin's Crystal, you can get an additional XP lamp for 1k uh, from the Varak Museum. Oh, there we go, beautiful lamp. I think this is the last lamp we need. Now we can actually complete achievement diaries and put those lamps on HP as well. Come on, give us a limp root. Never lucky, we gotta kill another one. We're going to need one limp root to make a strength potion for the achievement diary in Kebos Lowlands. And since I have to get it from a hobgoblin, this is very RNG based and can gain me a lot of combat levels if I am unlucky. Now I believe every hobgoblin is going to give me one range level, so I hope we get lucky here. Well, are we getting it? We got the limp root. We actually got it. Create a strength potion in the Lovakinj pub. This is the Lovakinj pub. There we go. Completed. I had to get myself some quick cash, of course. Another pyramid, let's go. Last thing we need for the Cable's Diary is 25 construction. So here we are. 25 construction, we gotta move our house to Hesidius now. Elise, oh there we go. We found Elise. Let's get our reward, a Radha's Blessing and an Antique Lamp. We gotta put the Antique Lamp on HP. 2500 for two hit points levels. And a very nice blessing because with this one, we can teleport to the current woodland and we can do this three times every single day very close to a bank over here i might have forgotten something but we have unlocked at least six different teleporting methods and, and of course we now have a total level of 483 we did survive this first episode meaning the bounty will be increased by 50 mil and of course, if anyone wants to donate even more money into the bounty, just contact me anywhere on social media and we'll increase the bounty even further. But for now, I am out of membership and I will start playing this account again once this video hits 5,000 likes. Mm -hmm.